Well, hello friends, John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome again to my kitchen table. Today, I would like to talk to you about a lovely Irish whiskey. This is Yellow Spot, single pot Irish whiskey. Thanks for joining me. As I said in the intro, I'd like to talk a little bit about Yellow Spot. Um, if you're new to whiskey, maybe you haven't heard of the different spot whiskeys, green, yellow, and now red. Um, but if you've been around, likely at some point you've come across uh, seeing at least, if not trying, some of those spot whiskeys. And you might have wondered, what is a little bit of the history behind the spot whiskey? So I'm, I'm going to share a little bit of that first. So if you're here just to hear tastes of Yellow Spot, which is a single pot Irish whiskey, uh, 12 years old, um, maybe skip about four minutes ahead. I'll just ramble a little bit. <clears throat> what I know of this history of the, the, the spot whiskeys is, uh, you know, actually it happens today. So I was going to say about back in the day, but certainly uh, quite historically, 1800s, early 1900s, a lot of whiskey was made in distilleries, like in the Jameson distillery, and then it was sold uh, like either as new make or very young to um, marketers. Like, uh, uh, I think, what do they call them? Whiskey bonders, or often they might be wine merchants. That's a case of these guys. Um, and then those people were the ones who would, would keep the stock, age the stock, and then when it was ready, they would release it as their own whiskey. So as I understand it, uh, way back, Mitchell and Son, um, they might have actually started, I read once uh, in Dublin, they started as a bakery. But very quickly, uh, they were wine merchants and then whiskey bonders. So they would uh, buy new make or very young spirit from Jameson. And then they would bring it. And because they were, they were uh, uh, wine sellers, they had casks and they would age the, uh, the whiskey um, in famously in, they're almost like catacombs. I mean, I've seen video or pictures of these, these storage places, you know, under the cobblestone streets in Dublin are really cool. And they'd keep it there in barrels and release it. And um, as I understand it, they would mark the barrels for, for how long they intended to age it, right? So if they had a, a piece of blue paint on it, um, then that would be their youngest, I think around eight years. Uh, then if it had a green spot on it, it was going to be about 10 years. Yellow was going to be 12 and red was going to be 15. Um, somewhere between back then <laughs> and now, a lot of those spots failed away except for the, the green spot, which we have. Um, and the green spot doesn't carry an age stamp now, but it's between about seven and 10 years, I think. And, uh, and then the yellow spot came out a while ago in Europe, came to Canada and then finally to the States, I think a few years ago. Uh, and I think just this year, uh, I haven't seen it on the shelves yet, but I've heard that red spot, their 15 year old has been released. So, um, anyways, back to the history. So, you know, so Mitchell and son would, would purchase a spirit and then age it. And I, I don't know because it still says right on here, Mitchell and son, fine wines and spirits, Dublin. If, if, I mean, this is still somehow a, uh, a cooperation between the Middleton Distillery and Mitchell and Son Fine Wines and Spirits, but I'm not sure if all of the spirit is sold to Mitchell and Son or if there's some other thing going on, but, but it's a pretty interesting history. And I really love uh, when I've seen those pictures of seeing the barrels aging beneath the streets of Dublin. It's also super cool. Um, anyways, that's a little bit of history. Let's talk about Yellow Spot specifically. So Yellow Spot is a single pot still Irish whiskey. So in Ireland, if it's a single pot still, um, that means it's gonna be malted and unmalted barley together. It's going to be um, stilled in a copper pot still. And in this case, uh, triple distilled. So it's triple distilled, all barley in a pot still. Um, this one is, uh, it does say non-chill filtered. It doesn't say un uncolored, but I would be perfectly happy to think this is natural color. Um, but this has some spirit that is uh, 
from X bourbon and from X sherry. That's the same with green spot. But in addition, this has some whiskey in it that's been in X Spanish wine, uh, Malaga casks. So some X Malaga cask whiskey in here. It's put out. It's until filtered, as I said, and it's put out at 46% ABV. I'm not sure what else to tell you about that, but uh, that is a little bit of yellow spot. 12 year old Irish pot still. Let's see how it smells. It's a lovely nose. This is a, a fruity, welcoming. Uh, you know, if you don't drink um, or haven't had a lot of whiskey, you might struggle with this concept, but it's a, it's a smooth, it's an enveloping nose. It, uh, well, there's a little bit of pepper maybe in the nose. Mm, no, that faded away. For me, it's mostly, um, you know, fruity, uh, but fruit like rich fruit. Like if you smell apple, it's more like a, you know, a red apple or a, like a red delicious, you know, those, those, uh, those riper, sweeter apples. I might say it's even sweeter than that. So what would be a sweeter fruit, an orchard fruit? I guess a pear, maybe peach. Peach for me is, well, maybe. I don't really get any kind of raisiny notes, like that red leathery notes. It's mostly that juicy fruit with uh, honey. And what other sweetness type things? Sugary fruits, cooked fruits. Yeah, so very sweet. Might be sweeter than some want in a whiskey. Like it's, that's one of the first things, but, but for 46%, just a lovely enveloping, welcoming nose. Let's give it a taste. Mm. And that is a delicious whiskey. It um, is uh, immediately quite full in the mouth, coating, but um, sweet. But now, thankfully, not as sweet as the nose for me. Not quite as overpowering. Instead, all of those fruits that I mentioned bring a little bit of spice. Not overwhelming in any way, but like... What would be some baking spices? Maybe some nutmeg, some clove. Not a lot, just, just a little bit in the mouth. And, and, then, and then to the finish. But the finish is almost deceptive. This one doesn't finish bold and oaky and, and huggy, you know, like some whiskeys. Instead, it actually finishes fairly clean, um, smooth, welcoming. Hmm. So, thoughts on yellow spot, single pot still, 12 year old. This is truly a delicious whiskey. It's a fantastic Irish whiskey. Um, I think it represents uh, just a, a, a great, it represents a lot of the character of what I think of with Irish pot still whiskey. It's, it's full bodied. There's lots of layers to catch on to. This one's a little sweeter than some, but it's rich, full, enveloping, but yet it's also something that I could pour with someone who, who maybe is enjoying whiskey or new to whiskey, but doesn't have a depth of experience and they would still enjoy this. It is bold. Um, you might find a little strong at 46%, but where I was going with that thought about Irish whiskey is that it, it yet it's, it's um, somewhat deceptive or smoother than other whiskeys at that strength. Um, this is a, an easily uh, sippable, uh, easy to enjoy, easy to talk over kind of whiskey. Um, it's absolutely one of the best whiskeys that I've opened up this year. This is the first year that I've had Yellow Spot. I've had Green Spot, I like Green Spot, um, but the um, Louis Barton, the one that's aged in um, um, Bordeaux wine, I think, that one's quite good. But for me, this yellow spot is um, a significant bump 
from the green spot for me. I, if I'm looking at that, you know, triple distilled, but I still want flavor and character. So I don't just want something that's been distilled so it's so light that it just goes over the tongue and goes away. That's not what you get with yellow spot. It is light, it is smooth, um, but all along from that, that high fruit nose to that full mouth feel, finish is a little bit uh, lighter than I would like. I wouldn't mind if it came back with a little more oak or a little more wood hug in the finish, but um, it finishes so clean and so nice and anything left is still in that vanilla fruit, a little bit of spice, all of the things that you're looking for in a, in a nice fruity whiskey. So this is easily a four and a half. I mean, it pushes into the five star. I only rate out of five stars. Um, I would say 92 points, somewhere in there. So it's right in that um, really, really good whiskey layer. So I wanted to share it with you this year because I had opened it up this year. Actually, uh, it was one of two gifts that uh, a school I worked at, the staff gave me uh, a, a gift of, of two bottles of whiskey. One was the Laphroaig 12, which just, just blow your mind away if you like Pete. Uh, and the other was this, and this uh, is a fantastic Irish pot still whiskey. Thanks for joining me. I uh, wanted to uh, get that out before the Christmas season as well. If you're thinking of you know picking up a special bottle that might have a, a, a fairly wide appeal for whiskey drinkers, I think you would be hard pressed to find a better bottle than, uh, than this yellow spot 12 year old Irish pot still whiskey. Thanks for joining me. You guys take care.